the MPS project really started about one year ago in January when you and Louis invited Jim Curry, Chris Rounds and me over here for some winter grayling fishing and that was an eye opener for us. It was, it, we really opened a whole new world to you and, uh, and it was uh, a chance for you to try and fish without fly lines and loading rods in different ways and I think it really sent you back to square one. It did and uh, I found the whole development process from that day, you know, when we were on the water first and how we got going with the discussions about rod actions and what was needed and uh, what we needed to add to some of the rod actions that we already had in the system. Uh, it's been a great process up to the day here now where we're actually testing the final product on the river again one year later. Eh? That's brilliant and uh, they're great as well. Yeah, I think so. I think we've done extremely well with it. The downlocking reel seat is instrumental to keeping the swing weight low in the rod. With swing weight we mean the tip lightness of the rod. You'll be amazed at how light this rod feels in the hand when it's rigged with a reel. These rods see very little fly line going in and out through the guides. We've taken that into account when designing them. We've used smallest possible size of the single leg guides and we only use one stripper guide. Each rod, no matter if it's the 9 foot 6 inch, the 9 foot 9 inch or the 10 foot rod, use 9 single leg guides and one stripper guide. The action curves in these rods that we've developed have really been refined to suit beginners, intermediates and even experts as well. It's a, it's a forgiving medium fast flex rod but also with a rigid tip section, but soft enough to handle the light tippets that we enjoy to use when you're a nymph fishing. Uh, the grip on this rod that we've designed is really quite special and working with Lewis Hengtry and we've come up with this custom design and it's a really low profile half well grip and it allows us to slide our finger along the grip and up the blank to get the ultimate sensitivity and tactile approach to our fishing to really feel every rock, bump and take that we might get on a day's fishing. 